Let me show you a way that you can capture GPS location of your form submitters. It's a widget that's called a GeoStamp and I'm going to show you how to use it on this video right now. Welcome to Job Form. My name is George and today I'm going to show you how to use the GeoStamp location widget. Be aware that when you enable this widget, users are going to get a pop-up that is going to ask them to allow the location. So I'm going to show you an example on this video. So let's get started. We're going to get started with a clean form. So it's going to create a form. We'll start from scratch and we're going to select a classic form just for demo purposes. And we're going to add two basic elements. We're just going to ask the full name and then we're going to jump into the widgets. So in the widgets, we are going to search for GeoStamp. Here it is. Let's go ahead and drag it inside of here. Now be aware that your end user, the form submitter, is not going to view anything on the form. It's going to be blank. OK, now the settings will be here. Widget settings, which are pretty basic. You can just update the widget or use custom CSS if needed. Then you have the properties for alignment widgets and you can make it required or not. Now, once you have this added, well, you're good to go and we're going to make some tests. So let's go into publish. We're going to copy this link. And let's go ahead and test this out on the browser. So let's go ahead and open up this form. And we're going to get this pop up depending on the browser that they're on. Obviously, it's going to change the message. So in this case, we are going to allow it and we're going to fill this out really quickly. Let's go ahead and submit this form. And there we go. Let's go into our form submissions to view this GPS location. So let's go into our settings on the top. Let's go into tables. Here we go in tables. You're going to see there's a geo stamp row. So let me go ahead and stretch this. And here we go. We got all the data here. We got the date, the time, the street, the city, the state, the location, the country. And we even got the latitude and longitude with this widget that we just added. So be aware that when adding this widget, well, you get that little pop up that says that they need to allow the location. Now, it will depend on your use case if you want to use this type of widget or not, and if you want to make it required or not. Now, aside from this, you're also going to get an email with this information. Let me give you an example. This is an example from the form we've just submitted. You can see we also get an email with the details. So again, we have all the details that are nice and clean with the street, city, city, region, country, zip code, latitude and longitudes. So it's super easy to implement this system to capture the geolocation of your form submitters. So it's just as simple as adding the geotag widget on your form. Well, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.